Yeah. She poses. Okay, Dale, so you're here at Ellis Park and you watched Sally's curl and train this morning. What are you thinking as she's heading into her first race off a three and a half month layoff? She's done very well. I mean, she got a little freshener. Uh, she's come back to work really good, like her old self. We just need to get one of those races that she ran two years ago and uh, get her to fire like she did before on this racetrack. And I think we'll be all right. You know, what happened to her? I mean, she ran in, she was on camera rolling. She ran in the, uh, the Breeders' Cup um, Billy and Mare Turf Sprint. Or, this will be edited out. She ran in the Breeders' Cup uh, Billy and Mare Sprint. And that was a really tough race. But it just seemed like then when she came back this Earlier this year, she just she wasn't was just her. a little bit flat, or maybe she got tired. You know, we went to the well a lot of times on her. She ran a lot of big races, and uh, even though she in her style when she's winning, she's only running down the lane last quarter mile. She's running awful fast. She might just got a little tired, so we gave her a couple months off. Uh, she trained well out of it. Sometimes people just need to rest. She's four for four at a mile on dirt. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good, and then hopefully she can be five for five. So it's a nice race. I mean, it's a signature race for Ellis Park. We've won it a couple of times, second in it a couple of times, but I can remember when they first put this race up and it was 100,000, it was such a big deal. It was an unbelievable event. And back then I think it was called either Strohs or the Coca-Cola, I don't remember which one came first. And so I always like to come down and try to win this race. And she's also gonna be racing for uh, Kentucky and her friends of V if she wins. Corey Johnson um, committed $1,000 and then his vice president of the syndicate Mike Renfro volunteered that it would be volunteered that Corey would right. make it two thousand. Let's make sure that uh, we get that donation because V Foundation is a special charity. It's done a lot of great work already. It's already proven. So we just need to get some more money raised for it. And you're sponsoring a team for the Kentuckyana Friends of V Golf Scramble on Monday at Standard Club, uh, as you did last year. Going to be dominated your team by jockeys. Yeah, my jockeys will show up for me. Every time we have a golf tournament, I need some players. I just buy a team and put my jockeys in. They're all great golfers. These professional athletes are different than the rest of us. How important is it to, you think, support everybody? Your mother is a breast cancer my survivor. My mother's a breast cancer survivor, but there's no one out there that's not that hasn't been touched by cancer in some way. All of it negative. And, uh, you know, you can just look on paper what the V Foundation has done since Jim Bovano died, and it's proven that he's kept people alive with this foundation. Yeah. Well, in fact, uh, Bob Valvano, his youngest brother, who uh, founded Kentucky and Friends of V, which is affiliated with the V Foundation, he is, it was just announced that he is in remission of stage four leukemia, but he was being treated with two drugs that didn't exist five years ago. Right, I read that article, and I think that's pretty cool that his brother didn't die in vain, that he uh, really has produce some, some good research on cancer through this foundation. Does everybody should get behind Kentucky and a friend? Everybody should get behind Kentucky and a friend for me.